Sani Wonan Tobel. Dear staff and students, this week on Wednesday, the 8th of May 2019, South Africans went to the polling stations to cast their votes in the national and provincial elections. Democracy is precious and requires citizens' involvement. Your vote is important for the future of our country and I hope that the election results will give the necessary impetus to the country's economic growth and social development path over the next five years. I would like to thank all staff and students who have voted. Our university community has made progress on many fronts since the start of the year. Most of our students are now undergoing the last critical assessments of the first semester and soon the mid-year examinations will commence. Soon we will also kick off the second series of our 2019 graduation season. I hope all our students remain focused and dedicated to the cause. While we look forward to a successful completion of the first semester, our staff and students are carrying the UJ flag with confidence. Tourism forms the heartbeat of any nation and nurturing it is a responsibility of government and its people. UJ School of Tourism and Hospitality, the STH, is making inroads international. I'm glad that our master student, Rifilio Lihau, emerged triumphant at the 6th World Tourism Forum in Lucerne, Switzerland, winning the 2019 Young Talent Award. Lichau was one of the 12 finalists from various parts of the world who participated in the Young Talent Program. More than 500 international industry leaders, investors and young people in the tourism industry gathered for the forum with young people from various countries listed as finalists in the competition. She attended the forum with Dr. Diane Abrams, the director of STH, and Professor Tembi Tichawa, head of department. I'm also pleased that our students, Ilse Smet and Shannon Rene Benet, won the first and third prizes of the 2019 Chinese Bridge Competition held at the Deben University of Technology in KwaZulu-Natal on May the 3rd, 2019. Smet is our accounting student, while Bene is our chemistry student. This means that UJ Confucius Institute is the only one of the five Confucius Institutes in South Africa to win two of the total five prizes. The aim of the competition is to create a platform for South African students to learn Mandarin and demonstrate their understanding and proficiency of the language, as well as the knowledge of Chinese history, culture, and geography, amongst others. As usual, our library and information center hosted a variety of exciting book discussions this week. This included the A to Z of South African politics, parties, people, and players, which was co-written by one of our staff members, Mr. Lewang Siale, as well as Radio Sounding South Africa and the Black Modern by Liz Garner. Another book was The Vagabond, Wandering Through Africa by Faith, authored by journalist Lirato Mukwate. I hope that those who attended the discussions absorbed valuable lessons from the thought-provoking conversations with the authors. Speaking of book discussions, next week on Wednesday, the 15th of May 2019, the third session of my reading group resumes. This time I will be discussing an interesting book entitled 
Thinking Fast and Slow, authored by Nobel Prize winner in economics Daniel Kahneman. This is one of the many books of my choices which I believe will offer insights on how we process information on a daily basis. Kahneman's analysis of thinking is close to a meta theory of human nature. In this book, he explains how numerous psychological experiments document the interplay of two ways on which the human brain processes and acts upon the numerous number of stimuli encountered in our daily lives. I invite both staff and postgraduate students to join me in this discussion. Also on Wednesday, the 15th of May, 2019, UJ, in partnership with the Steve Biko Foundation, will host a public discussion entitled Poverty and Inequality in South Africa Towards Real Economic Transformation. This discussion will take place in the Kingsway Campus Library's Chinua Achebe Auditorium from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. I hope that you will find the time to attend and participate. Have a great weekend. Nia Bonga. Bye, Thank you.